Well, good morning, guys. Smelling roses here. Today I'm out in northwestern North Carolina, and welcome to Stone Mountain State Park. It's very early in the morning. I think it's about 6.30 or so, and the park gates are still closed. I actually camped here last night. This is mid-April 2018. And you can see the leaves are starting to appear on the trees, especially at lower elevations. But despite the spring calendar, it was quite cold last night. I actually used my winter sleep system to camp. The plan for this morning is to hike down to the main Stone Mountain Falls, 200 foot waterfall, kind of a slide style waterfall and then head down to the lower and middle falls. Then we'll head over to Cedar Rock and Wolf Rock. Come along, let's go check it out. All right, this is no joke, guys. Always remember, anytime you are around rocks and water, always exercise extreme caution. So we have arrived here to the upper portion of the Stone Mountain Falls. You can see the creek there to the left side of the trail. I believe this is called Sandy Creek, but I'm not positive about that. Should probably check in with my buddy Kiefer Hikes. You guys go check out my friend Kiefer Hikes. He hikes out here at Stone Mountain quite a lot. I'm here in his backyard. Go check out his channel if you get a chance. I'll leave a link down below in the description. So you can see the creek beginning to cascade over the rock face there and as we go down the mountain we'll get views of the falls. If you ever want to visit Stone Mountain Falls, keep in mind that there are about a million steps down this ridge and I'm going down right now but that means I have to come back up later on my way back out So we made it down to the base of the falls. Let's go have a look. All right, check it out, guys. Pretty nice flow on the falls. The last time I was here was five or six years ago, and it was in the summer. The falls still looks pretty nice then, but it was much lower flow than what we have today. Very nice. So the trail will now follow along the creek. This is still the Stone Mountain Loop Trail. Follows along the creek here with numerous beautiful little cascades just like the one we just saw. The loop trail follows the creek down to the homestead area, then it climbs up Stone Mountain and loops back around to where we started. I'm actually planning to hike up to Stone Mountain later today on a sort of family hike. Not sure if I'll shoot video on that or not. I have been up there before and there is a slideshow on my channel if you guys want to check that out. I had said in the opening of this video that after the main falls, I would head down to the middle and lower falls. I still plan to go down there, but before I do, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue down to Cedar Rock and Wolf Rock first. All 
All right, guys, you can see Stone Mountain just to our north. And it gets its name because it really is one massive rock. The remains of volcanic activity in the formation of this area. We'll get some better views of it once we head up on the Cedar Rock Trail. Well, that's why we're here. We came for the rocks, steep slopes, and the cliffs. Okay guys, the trail is just over there in those woods, but of course I failed to heed the warnings and I have left the marked trail. But wanted to show you guys this view of Cedar Rock. This is a portion of the Cedar Rock formation. Awesome spot. It is believed that magma swelled up from deep inside the earth and then cooled in these big bulbs here near the surface and then over the ages the softer material eroded away and revealed these big massive rock formations. Well I told you guys we'd get better views of Stone Mountain up here from Cedar Rock but unfortunately here early in the morning we're looking directly into the sun. Not sure if I can get you guys a good clear view of the stone mountain. I think what I will do is roll in a still photo from a previous visit to this area to give you guys a better look at stone mountain from this point of view. So we'll get back on the trail and continue to the top of Cedar Rock and then continue on to Wolf Rock. That's Blackjack Ridge directly ahead. All right guys, we made it to Wolf Rock. Check it out, another awesome spot. Well guys, that was awesome having both Wolf Rock and Cedar Rock all to myself this morning. Pretty awesome views off of the mountain. I'm going to go ahead and backtrack now down the ridge, back down to the Stone Mountain Loop Trail, and we'll head back up to the trail we skipped earlier to head down to the Middle and Lower Falls. Let's go check those out.